Before the adjournment, parties argued for over an hour on whether or not the state APC chairman Asemu Jezua was competent to testify before the tribunal. Objecting to the admissibility of Asemu Jezua to testify, cancelled to the petitioners Emmanuel Kala SN said the APC chairman Asemu Jezua was not among the names of documented witnesses. According to the petitioners' cancel, paragraph 12, subparagraph 3 of the Electoral Act imposes a responsibility on the respondents to provide the list of witnesses adding that as petitioners they followed the appropriate standard by listing pastor Saige Izeyamu who is one of the petitioners as a witness adding that APC should have done same Imano Kala SN submitted that it is a different thing to be a party chairman and to be a witness in a case and therefore urged the tribunal not to admit him as a witness in the argument cancelled to INEC Oye and Monye, cancelled to Governor Gordon Obaseki, Wale Olani Pekun SAN, and cancelled to APC Lati Fagbe Mi SAN said, There is nowhere in paragraph 3 of the first schedule of the Electoral Act that says a witness must be listed. And that is why subpoenaed witnesses are not listed. They said the witness statement has been reflected in paragraphs 127 to 210 and that the witness deposition was already before the tribunal, which has also been served on the petitioners four months ago. The respondent said, since the petitioners already have knowledge of the witness statement based on the philosophy of front loading, the tribunal should overrule the objection and allow the witness to testify. In his ruling after over 40 minutes of break, Chairman of the Tribunal, Justice Ahmed Badamasi said, Non-listing of witness does not, in their view, allows for the disqualification of a witness, particularly as the witness deposition was with the petitioners and overruled the objection. The witness, Asem Ujezua, under cross-examination by Ken Mosia SN, said he attended a stakeholders meeting organized by INEC with representatives of other political parties on how INEC intended to conduct the governorship election. The witness was given as bit P0391, a document which he said was meant for the training of INEC personnel, and as bit P0204, P0102022, bracket 1, which he confirmed were the manual that prescribed the manner with which election will be conducted and when presented as it is P01 arrow 22 bracket 1 the witness said the document was the amended manual that does not stay ticking the witness still under cross-examination by counsel to the petitioners Emmanuel Kala SN admitted that as it is P01 arrow 22 bracket 1 was the supplement to the 2015 guideline when asked if he still stood by his statement that he only made reference to INEC guidelines and supplements and not INEC manual the witness answered in the affirmative. However, when the petitioner's counsel read a paragraph of the witness deposition, it was discovered that the witness made reference to the INEC manual. The witness also confirmed that his name was only ticked to the left of exhibit P0306 bracket 7, which is the voter's register, and was not ticked to the right. Earlier, a witness, Evans Omolaye Olaye from Akoko Edo local government area, also testified before the tribunal. Cancel to the third respondent, Latif Agbe SAN, submitted names of APC party agents who took part in the election within 18 local government areas of Edo State. Lead cancel for the petitioners, including the second and third respondent, addressed journalists. From the beginning to now, I think uh, we thank God. We have done our best, we we'll still continue to do our best, and we we'll hope for the best. Nothing has affected the appeal, nothing. The tribunal is still in existence until it delivers judgment, which is going to be in, towards the end of April. So the tribunal is still in existence. We only adjourn for addresses. The tribunal has behaved, has acted in a most commendable manner. And to the counsel for the petitioners, we also want to commend them for their maturity. This is the way it should be. We are lawyers. We, aren't, um, we are not politicians. You know, we've uh, done it, we've conducted the proceedings without being immodest, in the best tradition of the legal profession. What remains is to address, and in the address, you articulate your position. You, For the petitioner, they will state why the petition should be um, allowed for the respondents. And that includes myself, who will say the petition should be dismissed. We can't do without the members of the press. And uh, the way you have been reporting is marvelous. It's fantastic. We thank you because you have been very temperate and very responsible in your reporting. Now the 
parties have closed their case with regards to calling of witnesses and tendering of documented evidence, the next phase is for the parties to present their final written addresses. It is worthy of note that the petitioners have been presented from EC8As, EC8Bs, EC8Cs, INEC voters registers, INEC manual and other INEC materials, presented a total of 91 witnesses, including the first petitioner, Osai Geize Yamu Andrew, who during his testimony prayed the tribunal to declare him the winner of the governorship election. The second and third respondents, that is the APC and Governor Gordon Obaseki, who used 14 days from the 20 days given to the two parties, called a total of 85 witnesses. Interestingly, the second respondent, Governor Gordon Obaseki, was not among the witnesses that testified. The third respondent, INEC, used five days from the 10 days statutorily given to them without calling any witnesses and only presented documents that were already before the tribunal as exhibit. The tribunal has adjourned sitting to 3rd of April for parties to adopt their final written addresses. From the Doe State Governorship Election Petitions Tribunal sitting in Benin, Doe State's capital, Best Mbire reporting.